Hey everybody, Jamie here. So some of you are already back in school while the rest of you are still getting your school supplies in order. And while it's really fun to make a big trip out to the store to check off all the things you need on your class list, sometimes it's not so fun to have to spend so much money on such simple things. Well, Jamie to the school supply rescue. Today you can learn a really fun and simple back to school DIY with my upcycled cereal box pocket folders. Let's do it, girl. Okay, so for your pocket folder, you're going to need a ruler and writing utensil, a cutting tool, clear packing tape, hot glue, or a strong super glue, a bone folder or similar object, decorative sealer from wrapping paper to duct tape, and a hole punch. Finally, you're going to need two big cereal boxes. Your pocket folders are going to have to hold a standard eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of paper, right? So I found that the family size boxes or the value size boxes work the best because they're about 10 inches by 12 inches. All right, let's go for folder gold. Step one. The first step is to open up all the tabs on your box from top to bottom. When finished, flatten your box so the center panel faces up next to the right side panel. Turn your box around and make a vertical cut down the left side of your back center panel using your scissors. Flatten your box completely on your workstation with the plain cardboard facing up. The next step is to make sure that all the edges of your box are lined up evenly. Using your scissors, go ahead and cut off all of the extra tabs from the top and bottom of your box. This gives you a nice, even template to work with. When finished, your box should look something like this. Here's a good time to mention that if you planned on using your folder inside of a three ring binder or something like it, now would be the time to compare its size against the binder. That way you can trace the binder size within the box in order to continue to cut its dimensions down until it complements your binder's measurements. Step four, grab your cutting tool and cut out the four outside corners of your box. You could cut at a 90 degree angle in order to make half inch squares or for a more professional look, you can cut at a 60 degree angle from each side to make sort of an obtuse triangle. Either way, you'll want to cut about a half of an inch of material away from the height and width of each corner. Now that your corners are cut, it's time to fold in the box's edges. Now this part can be a little bit tricky because cardboard tends to crack when you're folding it since it's such a sturdy material. That's why I totally recommend what's called scoring your cardboard. Place your ruler up against where you want to make your fold. Then take a bone folder or something similar and press it firmly against your cardboard, sliding it straight down your ruler from one end to the other. This will create a helpful indent in the cardboard. As long as you keep your scoring line straight, your cardboard will fold in nice and neatly. Once all of your edges have been scored and folded, it's time to create the pockets for your folder. In order to determine its width, use your ruler to measure from the center of your folder to its folded edge. You can determine your own pocket's height, but the standard size is between four and a half to five inches. Grab your second cereal box, draw out your pocket measurements, and then cut out two pockets to size. Test your newly cut pockets inside of your folder by opening and closing it in order to snip off any extra material if needed. Okay, so the fun part about using a cereal box as a folder is that everybody gets to see that you just made a folder out of a cereal box. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? But this project opens itself up to a million designs. So if you were looking for a folder that matches better to your own personal style, now would be the time to design your cereal box. I'm going to cover my cereal box and wrapping paper because I had a bunch left over from last week's book cover DIY. And that would work really well for you too because now you can match your subject's folder to that same subject's book. In order to make sure that the wrapping paper doesn't rip, I then layered it in contact paper for reinforcement purposes. I repeated this same process with the folder pockets as well. And just so you see how it looks, I'll cover the inside plain cardstock with duct tape. I'm just using this stuff because I have a bunch left over from my tote bag DIY. But you could paint the inside of your folder or you could decoupage it in really fun photos or you could just leave the front and back as is, you crafty minimalist you. And behold the folder. Kind of. All that's left to do is to lock everything in place. Use packing tape, hot glue, or a strong super glue to seal down your top flaps into your folder. Slip in your pockets underneath the bottom flaps and glue them into place. Now if you glue your side flaps down as is, notice that you'll be taking away some of the width of the folder and the paper may no longer fit into the pocket. Instead, fold your side flap over and line up the height of your pocket with the cardboard's edge. Mark this spot with your writing utensil and then make a horizontal cut here with your scissors. Again. 
I'll cut at an angle to match the other angles of my folder. Repeat the same lining up and cutting with the pocket and flap on the other side. When finished, you can now tape or glue down the upper flap to the folder and then attach the lower flap to the front of your pocket. Repeat one last time on the other side. And your cereal box folder is all done. Your pocket flaps can stay unattached at the center like mine, but feel free to carefully glue or tape the inner edge to the folder center for extra security. If you're planning on throwing this into a ring binder, go ahead and line up the outside center of your folder to your binder rings. Not only making sure that you'll be able to easily flip your folder into the binder, but also that the hole placement doesn't get in the way of the papers as you place them inside. Mark your measurements with your writing utensil and then punch in your holes where needed. All that's left to do is slip your paper into your folder and your folder into your binder with ease. This folder makes the best back to school DIY. It takes less than an hour to make so you could totally finish breakfast and then have a folder ready to go before your first class. These types of upcycle crafts make such good conversation starters for cereal. How did you make your cereal box folder? Tweet me at Jamie Petito, Instagram me at Hey Jamie, or just tell me all about it in the comments below. We did it, girl. I'm Jamie, and you're on Girl.com. Maybe breakfast is the most important meal of the day, but the most important part of the day is to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> what? I just used this stuff because I had a bunch left over from my DIY duck duck bag. What's the story? Duck bag. Na 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 duck bag. If you don't know what DuckTales are, you need to get on that YouTube video now. <laughs>